going on, YouTube? Um, I'm at the Mile High Stadium. Um, behind me, you can see some horses and the Mile High Stadium. Um, woke up bright and early this morning. Uh, thinking that I was going to be able to uh, get a bunch of people going out to the airport. Um, since the Patriots were in town last night, I uh, figured a lot of people would be here um, in town in general. So I got up around 6 o'clock this morning, got on the road at 6.30. Uh, my first pickup was like over 15 minutes away, so what that tells me is since there's so many drivers um, out on the road to begin with, that tells me that most of those drivers have a destination filter um, specifically to just go to the airport. Um, I don't mess with that. I don't, I don't do that. I think that's unfair. I think it should be... Um, whoever is uh, whoever's closest you know what if they decide if that ride is going down the street so be it if that ride goes to Boulder then so be it but just to show you like or not show you I'm telling you the difference between like the trip that I made to Boulder uh, that right there was a half hour and like $45 today I started at 630 in the morning and it is now 8:45, 9 a.m. Um, so that's a little over two and a half hours of work. I've made uh, $32. So with that, I gave four rides. Now it was Uber Pool, and this person wanted to go downtown Denver at seven o'clock in the morning. So everybody's going downtown Denver at seven o'clock in the morning. So I sat in traffic for about 45 minutes. Um, and then since it was an Uber pool, there was another person directly off of the highway that wanted to get picked up. And then she was two miles down the road. So after I get off the highway, already taking this one person to her destination, I have to get off the highway, and then I have to get back on the highway. And then I have to get, it's just Uber pool to me works very well if a NFL game gets out. It, it uh, you know, it, I feel bad for the person that needs to get to work. Now, granted, that's her decision to choose Uber Pool. That it comes with the territory, she should have known better. Um, you want to save a couple of bucks, that's what happens. Now, from the driver's perspective, though, uh, the driver it, it's I had a quarter tank of a gas this morning and a quarter tank of a gas usually lasts me all day probably about a hundred miles um, now today I had a little over like I said and I had to put gas in it because once I got downtown I needed to refill up so I put $15 in the tank put it to a little over a quarter tank again so that means that $34 that was, that was made from Uber Pool now goes to uh, $15 in gas. So for two and a half hours, $15, if you equate everything else. See, that's the downfall of driving for Uber or Lyft. There is no consistency. Uh, one day I could make $50 for half hour worth of work. One day I could make $6 an hour for three hours worth of work. Um, it'd be nice if it was a little more consistent, but I don't have a supervisor or boss telling me when I need to get out on the road. I don't have anybody saying that I can't go in certain areas. I go and I do when and how I want. So, this isn't me necessarily complaining. This is me just, you know, giving tips and hints. If uh, Mr. Uber, I know uh, it's not Steve Kalanick anymore, but uh, whoever's running that CEO board of the conglomerate Uber, 
Uh, I'm letting you know. Maybe you need to make Uber Pool just like a event pickup kind of option. Um, I understand that there's people out there trying to save a buck and they don't mind that, but at seven o'clock in the morning, uh, when people are jammed packed on the highway trying to get to work, I had one, I had one guy, he like, I cut him off. It is what it is, you know? If, if I can fit, I'm getting it. Um, I learned how to drive in Chicago. Get out of the way, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're lollygagging, I'm taking advantage. But, uh, so I cut the, I get in front of this guy. There was plenty of space. I just, you know, whizzed in there because I was about to hop on the highway. But he got pissed off. He was driving a, uh, a big, like, seamless gutter truck. I didn't make him have to slam on his brakes. He was sitting there on his phone. Um, so he stalled at the red light. Now, I look to take advantage of people that do exactly that. They sit there at the red light on their phones. If I see somebody and I need to get over and they're on the phone, I know you're going to be a little late to the game. I know you're going to be a little late on the accelerator to that green light. So I'm going to get in front of you. Um, um, so yeah, like I said, I did a couple of hours. I was, I was hoping to show you something, show you guys something. Now when I say you guys, I think I only have like one person that watches it. Hey, Fee. What's up? Um, I made these glasses, by the way. Well, technically, I bought the frames. And uh, and then dremeled around the prescription lens. Uh, it's like an old... These are like old school. These are uh, Marchand. Jonathan 2s. They're kind of dope. But, they, you know, there's a couple of spots that uh, I messed up. But this was the first time that I took a Dremel to uh, sunglass lenses. Now what I did, I bought the frames for like $2 at the thrift store and they had like super thick prescription glasses. And I just took the old lenses out. I bought a pair of Dollar Tree sunglasses and then used those lenses and cut around it. It was fairly, fairly simple. I'm gonna do it again with another pair. It's gonna be a lot better than this though. Cause there's scratches and all sorts of stuff but it works i wanted something different um i wanted like a quality pair of aviators aviators so they have these in most cities are like most big cities um it's the warehouse where stuff doesn't sell people can come and donate things directly to the world um to the outlet world goodwill outlet world but the pay structure um, is by the weight of the item. So like if you wanted clothes, it's like $1.19 per pound for clothing. So if you're uh, looking for like uh, a lot of stuff or donations, what I like to do is come in here whenever they do like a coat drive and just get like a cart full of coats and spend like 30 bucks on 30 pounds of coats and then I'll just donate the coats to whoever needs it because a lot of people can't get here or a lot of people don't know about this. Um, Google search on your uh, on your phone and uh, see if you have a Goodwill outlet world around you. Now granted Denver, there's a lot of stuff here. So let's check it out.
like I said, per pound, it's uh, you can find some good stuff here. You just have to look. It's like a treasure hunt. I'd say this person uh, likes reading. I would probably suggest having gloves when you're going through these things. I never do, but you know, I suggest it. This is actually, if you're doing um, Instacart, um, what I like to do is I like to go to these outlet worlds and pick up these reusable bags. And then when I'm delivering to the uh, customer, I give them the recyclable bag. They think I paid four or five dollars for the bag. <laughs> I paid like 10 cents. The Monopoly. These usually are like the uh, specific Monopolies. You can, you can piece them out pretty well on eBay, but. I don't have the time or patience right now for that. I just kind of wanted to show you guys real quick. It's kind of funny to do it like talking to your phone. So, fellas? Because uh, I'm the type of person that don't give a shit. Let's see if they're looking. Are they looking? <laughs> it's like, uh, what's his face on? Uh, what's that YouTube guy? Um, there's like a YouTube guy that's like, I'm a vlogger, bro. Vlogging. Don't worry about it. Like I said, people take their life way too seriously. All right, so that was Goodwill Outlet World. Um, I didn't do, I didn't buy anything. Um, 
obviously you guys just came in there with me I just wanted to show you what that was it's crazy um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the roads for a few more hours All right. day today um, got out and about at like six o'clock in the morning today it's like four um, I got to run over to FedEx still FedEx is right over there and it's got a Chipotle in the same building so I think it'll be a Chipotle kind of day uh, 10 hours on the road equates to $125 for the day um, but I'm empty again on gas so that means uh, I spent, let's see, $15. So I spent like $20, so made it like $100, um, which is okay. Now, granted, you're, you're tearing the shit out of your vehicle. Um, so if you don't include that price with it, like, like I said, if it wasn't for, I had two airport runs, or I had a ride out to the airport, and then I got a ride back. Um, so if it wasn't for those two last airport kind of rides, it would have been a, it would have definitely been even more of a struggle day. Um, as far as if would I recommend driving for Uber and would I recommend driving for Lyft? I guess it depends on what city you're in. Um, here in Denver, the airport is 30, 40 minutes away. So those are the longer rides and those are where the money's at. That's where the money's at. Uh, so if you're in a city where your airport has different sanctions and uh, different rules and stuff like that to not allow you to go to the airport or the airport is, let's say, like O'Hare and you're like, that's just a straight cluster. Um, but out here, it makes sense. It's, it's an easy ride out to the airport for the most part. Um, it's quick money. But um, that's the only way that I would be an Uber driver is if there's an airport or something like that. Now, you can make money driving at night, but then you gotta drive at night. Uh, you have to deal with alcoholics. And to me, uh, anything under like $100 an hour, I'm not dealing with that. Um, I don't care, get home, walk home, take a taxi, <laughs> stop drinking, I love them apples. Um, so, I, uh, I kind of refuse to drive anything past like 9 p.m. Um, that's just my personal option. Uh, I'm leaving money on the table, but it is what it is. Uh, so, like I said, today was a, uh, a long day. There's not too many of these days that I have, actually, which is awesome. I used to have to work 12 hours a day, like 20 days in a row. Pretty good. So, yeah. Hey, love life. Uh, be thankful, and um, I'll see you when I see you.